Hey, what's going on? It is V from V Love and Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me for another pick a card reading. This one is called Your Person's Next Big Move. So I'm going to have three piles for you and see to see uh, what will bring you to your reading. Please choose your intuition while choosing these. First pile, you have avenues. Pile two. Pile two, what is your card? What is their next big move towards you? Pile number two. News. And pile three, what is their next big move for you? Pile three. Good luck. So these are your toppers. What is their next big move? What are they intending to do and going to do? Are they going to um, ask you out for you know more dates? Are they going to propose a promise or a proposed marriage to you? Are they going to ask you to move in? Are they going to need space? We're going to figure it all out for you for all these piles. Thank you so much again for joining me. And if you're new, please subscribe. If not, I always appreciate your return. <sighs> Take some moments to yourself before you decide. And timestamps are always below so that you can skip ahead back and forth. Or if you want to watch the full video, that's welcome too. And I'll see you over in the piles. Thank you so much again for letting me read for you. All right, pal one, you're first. Okay, pal one, what's going on? How are you, friends? Thank you so much for your awesome energy exchange for being here. I wish you luck, I wish you well, and may you have a blessed, new, prosperous year. All right, so this is what you chose, the avenues. I'm gonna see what the heck that means and why it is here. So first things first, I'm going to use tarot. What is your person's next big move towards you? What is your person's next big move towards you? Pile number one. Think of your person while I shuffle. Okay, we have the Five of Pentacles, the Strength card, oh. ah. and the Page of Cups. Alright, that's a good start. That's a good start. So in the first position, we have the Five of Pentacles. So this tells me right now they're with the Strength card and the Page. This is a reversal. So this tells me this person is trying to um, gather their belongings, improve their money spending habits improve their relationship improve the direction in which this relationship is going <clears throat> putting in the work putting in the hard effort they're even chat 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 so okay the word chat Chat is coming out. Chat. Wait, wait. Okay, they're challenging themselves when it comes to what emotions they bring to the relationship. And what I mean by that is, <clears throat> yeah, the strength card. You see how he's pulling the rope here? They're challenging themselves. Like, 
can I give them, can I give Pyro One this emotion? Can I let them in my heart space like this? And do I trust that if I were to give them this part of me, that they will be able to reciprocate or protect it? So your person's like, you know, you have avenues. Your person's like deciding, like, okay, do I take us down this lane? Do I take, the, take us down this lane? You know, managing expectations and emotions and trying to figure... And, you know, I feel like this person is also pacing themselves. Like They're improving what challenges them in the heart space. Like, okay, before I was totally blocked and I could not let you in. Or, you know, in the past, I could not let anybody in, let anybody love me or show how much I loved them or needed them or wanted them. And so now with you, it's like, okay, well, Pi One, I trust Pi One to, uh, you know, I trust Pi One with this part of me that is something that I closed off a long time ago with someone else. So I feel like this person's like slowly challenging themselves. Like, you know, uh, you know, one baby step at a time. Okay, can I do it? Okay. Not so bad. You know, like putting your foot in the water and testing the temperature out and then taking it back out. Okay. Mm, okay, yeah, I can, I can do this. And then putting your leg in and you're like, oh, okay, okay. So I feel your person is really, you know, trying hard. Strength. Strengthening their heart muscles, their trust muscles. You know, and the Page of Cups, you know, that's like, that's like, that's, that's, that's you know, feeling, feelings for you. And it's the very beginning stages. It's not like the Ace of Cups, it's the Page of Cups where you feel all bubbly in your stomach, but you're trying to manage it. You try not to act like a kid in, in a candy store. Like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. You know, like, you know, it's getting swept off your feet so fast. For, this person is really trying to like, let you see certain things because they, maybe they don't, they don't want to be teased or maybe they don't think that you would reciprocate or maybe they think that you'll think of them as a kid like oh my gosh you've never been in love before what the heck you know so they're like treading lightly but they're 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 putting in the work let me tell you they're like saying you know what i like this i like how i feel around you but i'm trying to you know control myself control my inner lion all right so the decks that i'm using so far uh for my collection is the winter's embrace and this is Chris, um, Crystal Ball from the lovely Mystic Star Magic. I'm going to shuffle one more. See if any other cards come out when it comes to your person's uh, energy. Their bi next big move towards you. Yeah, see, look at that. You know, that you got the glass sl slipper walking slowly. You know, maybe having cold feet in some way and so the next big move is to slowly challenge themselves in when it comes to love like do i say i love you am i ready for that are you ready for that <laughs> wait if i say it will it be reciprocated will i be teased for saying it will will you say it back to me uh oh, let me let me figure this out you know so treading lightly also having cold feet about it your energy levels will be elevated. You will experience new ventures. Wow, that's exactly what I'm saying. Like, t I even said testing the waters. Is it cold? Oh, no, I, I can do this. Okay, let's test it again. Okay, now I can put my leg in. See that? See how we're in sync? Freaking love it. Okay, the links to our decks will be link linked below. My Etsy, eBay shops, and Mystic Stars. Um, I'm going to tag her in this video. And this is the Nightmare Before Christmas tarot so now we're gonna get into the fun part let's start clarifying and then we're gonna do some love messages okay friend so five of pentacles you know whatever you're lacking in this connection with your person your person is wow your person is really recognizing that and they're working towards fixing that improving that and they see options here 
you know, it's not like uh, the half is, I mean, the glass is half, the, the, the glass is, there's only two glass shoes. This person's saying, okay, well, I can still walk with these shoes. I can walk with one shoe. I'll figure it out. You know, not half empty, but half full. So this person sees potential for you guys to take your relationship this way or this way. So um, just a matter of, you know, navigating, figuring it out. This person is like willing to put in the extra effort. Please let me clarify the Five of Pentacles. Why is it here for your person's next big move? You have the Four of Wands. Wow. Okay. So this this is saying, yeah, like whatever can lead you to the Four of Wands, commitment, marriage, stability. I'm getting through any obstacle I have to get through. Look at him. He looks like he's struggling. He's pulling on a rope. He looks mesmerized. He looks like he hasn't slept. Your person is willing to put in the work to make you guys come here, get here. Okay, and in 1111, you know, you have the pillars, four of wands. You have two pillars here that looks like 11. You have the other two here, which looks like 11. And it's, you know, you have in between, you have the, the, the couple coming through celebrating a union. You know, so whatever will get you guys committed and stable and, the, you know, you're building a foundation of trust, honesty, love, protection, that's what this person is working towards. I freaking love it. Four of Wands. Wow, that's just so beautiful. Ten of Cups. Wish fulfillment right here, my friend. Wish fulfillment. What will bring us here? Is it me being honest with you? Is it me uh, offering to protect you, provide for you, love you? And not just like, I'm not talking about money. I'm talking about like emotionally, physically, spiritually. Um assure you that this person's here to stay why is the page of cups here why is the page of cups here for your friend's big move towards you three of wands oh my stars and then you have the page of pentacles see i'm willing to put in the work you're going for five of five of pentacles to the page of pentacles so and then you got your lucky star here or your lucky fate faded Wheel of Fortune right here. You also have um, the Nine of Swords here. And this could be like, maybe they're worrying. They're worrying that maybe they're not good enough. Or maybe they're, you won't reciprocate. Or, you know, um, what if, you know, it's just so many what ifs, so many, so many variables, so many like, you know, uh, Un, you know, like for unforeseen uh, obstacles. Like, what if you know? What if you have a change of heart? What if you don't? They're not good enough, and you realize this later down the road. What if you can't commit to them? What if you have cold feet? Like, this person's probably worrying about you and how you're gonna feel. They already know how they're feeling, or maybe they don't. Maybe they're worrying about not being able to marry you, or provide for you, or live together with you, or X, Y, and Z. Maybe they're worrying that th their cold feet is going to stay cold, you know? But the bottom line is that they're working towards bringing you guys here, Four of Wands. I'm going to pull um, some love messages to see what is what. Okay, please. Please provide those love messages from this person's heart, pile number one. Please help me provide love messages from this person's heart, pile one. Pile one for the next big move. Big move. I don't need your approval. Okay. So this tells me that they, you know, it's not like they're waiting for an invitation to from you. They're doing this on their own. They're not. Um, what's the word? They're leading the dance floor. They don't feel like they need you to tell them anything they're doing it from the bottom of their heart this is their truest heart so it's not like you're pulling their leg you know it's not like saying love me or i'm leaving you or love me 
uh, I need this from you. You're, they're doing it because they want to. So it's like they don't need you to, you know, give them ultimatums or anything. They're, they're doing this on their own, their own free will, because they love you. The Page of Cups is here. So there's potential for more, more to happen in this connection. More growth. All right, pile number pile number one. Next love messages from your person's heart. This is my kiss by a rose love oracle. If you mess, if you're um, interested, this is also my Etsy and eBay shops. You always blow things out of proportion. Hmm. Love messages from your person. Love messages from your person. It's frustrating how much I love you. Oh, I get it. And last one, sometimes I hear your voice in my head. I get it. You know what this is saying? Sometimes they hold back what they want to tell you or the decisions they want to, the options they want to offer you because they don't want you to hold them to it. So in other words, if I tell you how much I love you right now, that I would do anything for you, anything. I would move the stars and the sun for you if I could. If they say that to you, then you're going to always hold them to it. You always blow things out of proportion. So then you might hold them to it for the rest of their lives. And then in 10 years, you're going to be like, well, you said you would move the stars and sun for me. And then they're going to be like, crap, I put, I, I, I put my foot in my mouth, didn't I? Oh, crap. And then they have to do it and provide or, you know, live up to that pressure because they said they, they said it many years ago. So blow it out of proportion. If, you, if they were to say, I love you, you're going to be like, oh, my gosh, he loves me. He loves me. Ah! And that means we can get married. That means we can do this. That means we can move in together. That means we can start uh, sh uh, sharing each other's passwords. And, and they're like, wait, 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 hold up. Let me think about this. <laughs> so it might be that they don't want to, like, tell you too much right away because they you know they're managing their emotions and expectations and they also don't want you to run with something that they tell you right away you know they're gonna lead there it's like baby steps glass slipper baby steps and wheel of fortune tells me that you guys are fated you guys are meant to be together in some shape or form this is part of your destiny so that's what i have for you thank you so much for watching if this resonates then let me know by hitting the like button and please share this video. That really would help me grow this channel. Thank you so much. And I, live, I, I leave you with some blessings and some loving here. And I'll see you in the next video. We're going to head on to pile number two now. Pile number two, you chose news. All right. So, um, I, you know, it could be that. Sorry. <laughs> Hello. Thank you so much for choosing this pile. Let me know that you visited by putting... Uh, a number two and a heart in the comment section thank you so much also for you know letting me read for you i really appreciate you number two so let me bless you first before i start getting into this reading blessing you pal number two love and light prosperity health all right so right now, I think the news is that we're going to get into it. We're going to get into it. But it could also be that, that they have something to tell you that's very important. But we're going to see. We're going to see if that comes out. So um, let me pull out this card right here. Tell me what this news is all about. What it pertains to. And then we're going to clarify with Tarot. Please let me clarify this news card. Why is the news card here for number two's message? New people, new message, new energy. Why is number two, two's news card here? Magic, magic. All right. Okay, and harvest is here. Okay, so this tells me that this is something that, the magic tells me that it's something that's going to change the dynamic of this connection that you share with pal two. It's something that's going to, um, bring in abundance you got harvest so the, this you know how they say no news is good news well not necessarily not in this situation the news that you're going to hear has to do with maybe an offer something that's going to open doors for other things to happen so harvest and you got magic so something very 
beautiful, very uplifting, very positive. You're gonna love it. All right, let's start with the tarot. The tarot. Okay, pile number two. Tell me, tell me, tell me what it is. Tell me what it is. Okay, so what is your person's next big move is to tell you something. That's number one. The next thing is, what is your person's next big move? And it's not just one. It's not like a new. It's news. So it's just, it's more than one. Harvest. Abundance. Okay, pile number two. What is your, ne your person's next big move? Six of wands. All right. So something very successful. Something that's, I'm sorry, something that's going to be successful, that's going to succeed, something that you're gonna wanna hear. Something that also might appeal to those in your friendship circle, your family. So it's gonna be something that you can share with others that's very pleasant. Four of Swords, you know, that can tell me that right now it's being worked on, this prep work behind it, you know, it's being set up, it's being uh, slept on, like your person's thinking about it at night. You know, trying to figure it all out. You have the justice. Okay, this is something that is going to work in your favor. This can also be like legal documents. Uh, you have the, the paperwork here, justice. So legal documents, um, something that your person, you know, is trying to put together. You have the books here. So maybe your person did some research on it before they pre be presented to you. You have paper, books. Um, justice, yeah, it could be something that's being legalized, finalized, um, but it's good news. It's not like anything that's shocking or it's something that you wouldn't expect. Because it's it's kind of like you wouldn't expect you 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 didn't expect it, but you anticipated it. I don't know. Something is leading to it, and you're like, you know what? I can I can see myself being happy with this. Yeah, I I dig it. I dig it. You know, and it's it's it might be shocking, but it's not a bad shock. It's more like a nice, pleasant surprise of a shock. <laughs> okay, and it is gonna change you. You got the fool. You you are gonna start something brand new from this energy. Let me clarify. Why is the six of wands here? Why is the six of wands here? The eight of swords. Okay. So it's something that you don't see coming, but you anticipate it at the same time. It's kind of like, I know I'm going to get my paycheck. It's in the mail. I don't know, for whatever reason. Why would they mail it? I don't know. Maybe you were out for two weeks, and they're finally giving you your last, or just giving you your di direct deposit pay stub. And you're like, I just want to see, I want to see the numbers. I want to see how much... Um, taxes have been taken out right and so you know it's coming but you don't know like when you don't know what's going to be on that paperwork you don't know what the dates look like and etc etc you know so it's not like you're completely blindsided it's not, it's not like you're going to be completely surprised even though you will be <laughs> at the same time you have the ace of wands here so that's you, you know, saying, oh my gosh, this is awesome. Now I have, uh, you know, now I know what I want to do going forward. So your person, you know, I feel this is so interesting. I feel like I'm talking about you. This is what you want to do. But this is what your person, yeah, your person is wanting to do this. Your person, this is your person's energy, but it also affects you. So I think how I'm explaining this kind of feels like it's coming from your energy when we're trying to talk about your person's next big move. So that's why I feel like it is something that your person does or tells you or shares with you, some kind of news, a secret or something like that, telling you what, what's what in your connection Maybe even share with you something that they're going through, which does impact you in some way. See, Six of Wands, there's a lot of people involved that it, it pertains to. And then this is your energy. This affects you. Justice. And then you got the Seven of Swords. I'm going to clarify that. 
but it does change you. It does welcome a new beginning. And, and it's like now you're on track where you, on, on a track that you need to be on with your person. Eight of Swords tells me you don't know the fine details, what's on in this letter, but you know that it's there. You know that you're getting a paycheck, like I said, or a pay stub, but you just don't know the magnitude of it or if it's something that you can live on for the next few months or if it's something very small, you just don't know. Even though you do have direct deposit and you can always look up your bank account online, but still, it's still a surprise. You don't know if there's two checks included or if a, if a note is included or if it's ever going to get to you. How do you know that it's, you put you gave them the right address? You know, there's something that's very magical, magical and special and very mysterious about this uh, thing that's coming in and how your person's going to approach you and their next big move. Their next big move is also going to make you want to move and do something. I'm going to clarify all of these cards. You know me, I try to do that all the time. I try to bring in that extra clarity and just more nuggets to this puzzle, to any of my puzzles. So since we're using... Ooh. So let's say using the lovely Witchling Tarot, Witchling Academy Tarot, I'm going to follow up with more of... Miss Chen's uh, artwork. This is um, another one of Pamela Chen's uh, creations. This is the second one. I'm sorry, this one. Witchling Academy. And this is her first baby, the Crystal Unicorn Tarot. And the decks from my shop is the Winter's Embrace. It's on sale for, on Etsy, eBay, Instagram. And then you also have the lovely Mystic Star Magics creations which I'm going to put right here in this little square rectangle tell me more about this news coming in for you pile number two privacy okay this is something that's going to affect you both in a, on an intimate level and they're even inside with the little light lantern so what else okay fun new opportunity but you need to act fast okay so this is going to be something interesting. You got to act fast. You got to take your suitcase, your uh, <laughs> your belongings, and you have to make a decision quick. So it's going to, yeah, like I said, it's going to impact you, and you're going to have to, you might have to sleep on it and think about it first before you make a choice. And then you make it Ace of Wands. Yeah, think about it. Privacy with the Four of Swords. You going back, thinking, reflecting, seeing how you feel about it, seeing, you know, how it, would impact your future, how it impacts your family, and then making a decision and then packing your bags and going with it. All right. Okay, pile number two. Please help me clarify this. What is this magic about? Let's talk about that. Tell me more about this magic. Why is this magic card here for the person's next big move? So the next big move is that they're going to tell you something, something very uh, shocking or just something impactful that changes the game in your relationship, the dynamic, but in a good way. And it might be a little bit like sh shocking at first because you're like, oh my gosh, what? Okay, I like that idea after all. And the Seven of Swords tells me that this person is, like, being sneaky about it. Like, they're trying to maybe, um, like, work behind the scenes to make it work. So maybe they're asking your friends about about this and seeing what they would think about... Or seeing, trying to get feedback from outside sources that are connected to you to see how they can put this together for you or how they can maneuver if this is a good idea. Getting, like, outside influences. So they're doing something behind the scenes that you don't see. They're not trying to be sneaky in a bad way. It's more like they don't want to ruin the surprise or they don't want to like put your hopes up too high in case it doesn't work out. So they're trying to keep it under wraps so that they can see if it works out for you, see if it works out in general, period, point blank. The magic wheel of fortune, that's part of the magic is that it's supposed to happen this way. It's in destiny's hands, fate's hands, and it's a fortunate surprise. It's going to work in a beautiful, positive way. And once it does, it's going to turn the wheel. Things are going to start moving along in your connection. Like I said, it's going to change the dynamic in a good way. And then fool here. Oh my gosh. 
New beginnings, new beginnings. And other people are going to be very happy with this decision too. Six of Wands. Rooting you on. You have cheerleaders. You got Seven of Swords again. That's interesting. Seven of Swords with the Seven of Swords. Yeah, so this person, I feel... Um, they're doing stuff behind your back, but not in a bad way. Like, uh, like for example, um, I need to know what, uh, I need to know, I need to have a key to her house so that I can put something in her bedroom. So when she opens it, she sees it there and it has a nice pretty bow on it. Or I need to, I need to know what her password is so I can download this app that um, helps her generate more views or income. I don't know, I'm just, I wouldn't trust anybody with my password, point period, blank period, drop the mic, but it's something like that. Like something that, you know, he, this person is like doing it on a, in a sneaky way, but for a good reason. Like I need to, I need to find out what her father's uh, phone number is so I can call them and text them. But how do I do that? I gotta go up on their, I gotta go to their Facebook. I gotta go to their text messages. So then it's like, I'm kind of invading your privacy, but for a good reason. Oh my gosh, that's so, it's so complicated. How can they get? How can they call your brother and your mother if it's in your contacts list and they have to go to, through your phone to get to the contacts, the numbers? But then that's like kind of invading your privacy. So it's kind of like, okay, how do I do this? How do I go about this? And that's why they're sleeping on it, trying to think of the best way. And they probably won't end up doing that. They probably won't end up invading your privacy, but it's like they want, they don't want to spoil it at the same time. So they're thinking of another game plan. Why is this uh, six of wands here? Why is this six of wands here? The devil, okay. Six of Wands. Why is the devil? What? Six of Wands is here because of the devil. So indulging. Indulging in, in something that they really want so badly. Oh, man. To, the, to me, this is like guilty pleasure. It's like they want... They, it's like they... Ugh. This devil tells me that this is something that they want so badly too. So they're kind of doing it for selfish reasons. Oh my gosh, they, they're doing this because of selfish reasons, but they know that you would love it and that you would be happy about it too. It's kind of like, I want, yeah, look at that, the emperor. I was just about to say, it's kind of like if your person wants to wife you up, they want to wife you up, right? So they, they really want to try all their, their best to try to get you to move in with them first. And so you might have a house already, and you might have your responsibilities already, but they're, they're kind of like saying, well, I still want you with me. You can still, whatever you want to do, if you still want to pay rent or pay your mortgage in your other house, I still want you with me. <laughs> so for selfish gain, this person is doing it. That's the next big move. But it's not like what you imagine. It's not like they're doing it just for them only, for their own benefit. It's more like, it's, you know, they're doing it because they know that you, you would be happy this way. Yeah, they're trying their best. They got the temperance card here, trying their best to figure out how to make the, this work in your favor and their favor. I'm going to clarify this crazy devil, though. Let's clarify the Seven of Swords because it came out twice. Why is the Seven of Swords here for you, for your person, pal, too? Why is the Seven of Swords here? Why is there a little bit of hiding, deception here? Why is there a little bit of Seven of Swords, or, or a lot, actually, you have two Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here for problem number two person's energy for the next big move? The Three of Swords, okay. Oh, gosh, oh, gosh, oh, gosh. And then you have the Knight of Swords here. And then you have the Six of Swords here. Okay. I feel that, yeah, you got the Knight of Swords, you know, incoming news. 
incoming words, because something's coming in when it comes to words, thoughts, news, messages. Yeah, and it's coming in fast. So, oh my gosh, okay. So I feel that this person, honestly, is acting on... They're, they're act. I, I, I can't even say. I can't even fathom, like how, how I, I. I don't know how to like talk right now. Knight of Swords. Yeah, all those thoughts are running through my mind, but I don't know how to match them with words. So, for some of you, this person's acting on impulse. You um you have the full as well. Knight of Swords, thinking, just going, 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 going. You know, thinking and asking questions later. You know, like just impulsively doing doing this, do, making this approach towards you, being very, very, very fast about it, quick about it. But I feel like it's because they're afraid of heartache. They're afraid of losing you or afraid of this connection not growing stronger or afraid, like the reason for them giving you this news or the this sudden shocking revelation a glimpse into what they're thinking and dreaming and sleeping about, sleeping on, is because of this fear of the Three of Swords. So I'm going to be honest with you. I feel like this person wants you to move in with them. I don't know if that's what you're picking up on. This person is afraid of you, of you guys not being together. This person can't, like, do without you. This person needs you in their bed. Not, Not like that, not like that. It's more like... Knowing that you're by their side gives them comfort, makes them feel healed, makes them feel complete, you know? So, you know, get ready to pack your bags. Your person might even move in with you. I don't know. I don't know. And if you have a dog and a, and a, and a kid or kids or whatever, bring that too. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right. So you got the... the, the Three of Swords. So the reason why they're acting this way is because they're afraid of this Three of Swords. They're afraid of, you know, not being with you. They're afraid of losing you. They're afraid of the connection not getting stronger. Six of Swords. They want, they want, you know, to stop feeling this way. Three of Swords. Like, oh my gosh, I can't not be with you. I need you closer to me. They also could be distance, a lot of distance in the way. And this person doesn't, isn't too fond about that. So this person wants to change that, and this person might ask you to stay with them maybe half the week or the full week. I don't know, like you stay twice a month, two weeks out of the month with them, two weeks, at, you know, in your own house or whatever. Or maybe they, they're asking to stay with you for half the week or something like that. The devil tells me, wait, I'm going to clarify. Why is the devil here for your person's big move towards you? Why is the devil here? Oh my gosh, I was just about to say it. This is The devil is just the epitome of the lover's card. You have 15, 5 plus 1 is 6, 6 in tarot is the lover's. And then you have the two of cups, right when I was thinking of the lover's. So, you know, you do have the, the divine union here, just in this energy. It's like they can't live without you. They feel they're connected. They're connected to you. And it's like when they're not with you, their mood is changed. They're feeling like they have lethargic, like they're lethargic. They're feeling sleepy. They're feeling low energy without you. They feel ill. They feel heart sick, homesick. And they don't want to feel that way. That, that freaking sucks, you know? That, that feeling is no joke. Why? Because of the two of cups. Because of the lovers. So they're going to, the next big move, it could be a move, a physical move. It could be. <laughs> and the emperor, they want to wife you up, husband you up, or move you in, move you over cross country, cross the town, cross the states, or they want to move in with you. They want to provide for you, take care of you, love on you. You have judgment day here, making good decisions, you know, and also having the awakening here. You know, 11-11, I don't know, like if you see 11-11, this person sees it too. Some kind of awakening here. You have Eight of Swords and you have it again here. So this person might fear 
the unknown. Like, what if she says no? What if he's, what if you reject me? What if he says it's too soon? What if he doesn't feel the same way? What if he doesn't want to share a house with me, a home with me? What if, what if, what if, what if? No, no, no. We have Six of Pentacles. It's e even give and take reciprocity. And I just said the Justice card, 1111. So you have the Four of Wands. Whatever is going to bring you here, that's what your person wants. Whatever is going to bring you stability, bring you guys together. 1111. See that? Justice, 1111. Three of Cups. So if you have family, if you have a dog, if you have a cat, <clears throat> this person wants them too. <laughs> and the Page of Wands, yeah, it's like the possibilities are endless. What we can do together. Oh my gosh. This person is feeling very good about this idea. But it could, they could also be feeling a little nervous. Like, is it going to work? Will you oblige? Will you say yes? Will you agree? Okay, I'm going to pull my love messages oracle to see what um, the love messages are from your person. Love messages from your person, pile number two. What would they like to tell you if they could? Since you got the news here, what, what news do they want to tell you? Reveal to you. Exclusion. See, I just said it. Without you, they feel excluded. They feel like so out of sorts. Like the out ball, out, oddball looking in from outside. They want you all together, to you know, in the same f vicinity. You know, they can't imagine a life without you. Like, seeing you live your life and they feel so excluded. They feel out of it. They feel so, like... Like homesick, heartsick, you know? Wanting to be in the same home with you. I'm telling you, my friend. All right? What other messages does your person, they feel excluded? And not saying that you're doing it on purpose. It's because you guys don't live together or there's distance. So they want to be in the same home with you or the same city with you or the same town, the same neighborhood. So they, they can be part of your everyday life. Don't play dumb. <laughs> Don't play dumb. And that could just say, you know you wanted to. You know you want me to move in with you. You know you want to move in with me. You know you feel the same way. Or they can be like pretending that they don't care or they, they, they don't feel this way. You know, they could be just putting a facade on. But you're like, I, I, I know you better than you know yourself. You know you want to live with me. You know you want to build this this castle with me. Four of Wands is Justice, 11-11. You know you want the stability. I don't know, somebody was put, probably uh, putting a, a, you know, a front. Maybe because out of fear of rejection. You know, Three of Swords. Feel the beat. Feel the love. Can you feel the love tonight? Yeah, going by what the heart says. See, King of Cups, King of Hearts, Seasons. So this might happen the next season over. It might happen. Yeah, it's going to take off. Look, there's a move here. See? There's a look, rocket and fireworks. Okay, so this might take off just like the Knight of Swords going really fast. Fireworks turning into the Knight of Wands. It's not just in the thoughts. It's act, now it's going to take off. So Knight of Swords to the Knight of Wands. Fireworks, like rocket is taking off very soon. This is like the Knight of Wands for me. Okay, I'm going to pull in some other love messages here. This is for my text from the ex, text from the crush, text from the lovers, the soulmate, and my jukebox love messages. Let's see what messages want to come through from your person, pile number two. You can find these on my Etsy and eBay shops. What messages want to come through from your person, pile number two? In your eyes, I just wasn't good enough. Maybe that's what they're worrying about. Am I good enough? That's the Eight of Swords. That's the Eight of Swords twice. Am I good enough? Will you want to live with me? Would, would you want to be together? Would you want, do you see us growing something, you know, long term? What if, what if you need more and I can't deliver it? Or what if I need more and you can't deliver it? You're giving them everything you promised me. This tells me, you no. Know, what if I was your girlfriend, your wife, your husband? How can we bring us together? That's what I'm saying. I feel like it's like, what if we live together? What if, what if, what if? Okay. So this, you're giving them everything you promised me. I, f I honestly feel this is something that your outer experienced past life. No, your outer experiences, the outer influences are saying. Like maybe your person's ex is saying, 
So you're moving them in your house or you're committing to them. You didn't do that with me. Maybe your ex is saying, you're going to commit to your, yourself to somebody new, somebody like that. You didn't do that with me. So these are just like, I feel like these are like, yeah, text from the ex. I feel like this is like something that an outside influence is saying, looking into your situation. Just like this, ex this exclusion. You're giving them what you promised me. You're making food with them. But you didn't do that with me. You didn't cook for me. You didn't let me cook for you. We didn't go out to eat. So it's like somebody's looking, they're, they're out there looking in. Out across the street in their car looking into this house wishing that they had this with you. So your ex or their ex or something. Somebody jealous, somebody outside looking in wishing that they had what you guys are sharing together which is the four of wands here, marriage, commitment, love, togetherness, union, a celebration, a spiritual union here, four of wands. That's what I have for you. The next big move is to solidify and bring you guys even closer and closer and closer. They don't want to be like this dog looking out, you know, looking in from outside. No, this person wants to be with you at your, on your lap or you on theirs, I don't know. Um, you know, like a little dog, lovesick puppy. Okay, thank you so much for being here. Let me know if this resonates. This person really loves you to the moon and back so much that it, it pains them to not be with you. Okay, they like those intimate moments like, you know, watching movies together, relaxing, sharing those board games, crossword puzzles, and private thoughts, private words, all that fun stuff. So take care, and don't forget, you're going to move in together. I see it. I see it here with that house right there. I see it there. I see it everywhere. What's going on, Pile 3? This is your message here. No, just kidding. This is the start of your message. Good luck. I'm wishing you well. Blessings, positivity, good vibes here, friends. So what is your person's next big move? It's something very good, something very prosperous, something very fortunate, which if you want to check out Pile 2 because we talked about all the good coming from your person's big move um, that's pile number two even one was just so lovely and peaceful so if you're interested in any of the other piles the timestamps are below so let's let's figure this out I'm gonna um, pull my tower here pile number three pile number three's message only no people no message no energy no cards what is your person's next big move? Think of your person while I shuffle. Your person's next big move, pile number three. <clears throat> your person's next big move, pile number three. Okay. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, awesome. We're ending with the lovers and even got the star. This is a healed new move, a new positive experience for you guys, a healing experience. See, I told you, good luck. We're starting with good luck, we're ending with the star. That's a wish come true. I'm gonna leave it, I'm gonna put it right here. <clears throat> so for you, pound number, Pile number three, I feel like your person is going to offer you something very life-changing. Something that's going to create doors, opportunities, um, get the wheel turning, good luck, the wheel of fortune. Um, it's going to heal you both. It's going to benefit both parties. So you have the Ace of Wands, something very creative. It's going to open up doors, like I said. It's going to jumpstart the wheel you got the world card so it's, something's going to turn from this something's going to change something's going to get things in motion um the ace of wands also tells me that <clears throat> the potential is there so it's like something very it, it might come across as something very small 
like you know the ace of wands the very beginning of your creative spark uh, you know like your, your wand is finally lit up with a little bit of fire there like this a little, a little sprinkler your star what's it called your firework uh, your stick your fire stick right but that idea opens up more doors for you so let's say your person is asking you to stay over for the night but the other like his or her other family members are going to be there or his family and her fa or her family members are going to be there and maybe an immediate you know friends or maybe a neighbor or two and you're like wait you want me to spend the night with all your family members there that's huge knight of wands here that is that's big that's big fish energy <laughs> that's, that's 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 big so then you feel, you might feel like a little, you know, uh, stressed out. That's just a big decision. Something very, like, very heavy weighing on you that you're going to have to decide on. Like, oh my gosh, I'm going to have to meet all those um, new faces that I'm going to have to, like, put my best face on. I'm going to have to watch what I'm saying, try not to curse like a sailor. sailor. Oh my gosh, you know, like, maybe there's a little bit of pressure. But that opens up doors to more things like it opens up the doors to you getting used to their their family or them get their family getting used to you and you being invited out for future family gatherings and it just opens up so many avenues for this connection father of cups so meeting the father meeting meeting the important parents meeting the important relatives uh blending well with the new with, with, with the family and the friends and so I feel like the, this is a level up in your connection the next step up it's going places you're not just in casual dating if that's what you're doing or it's not just boyfriend girlfriend we see each other um, on the weekends or just once a week or whatever this is like you feeling part a permanent part of their life and them a part of yours permanently. So I think that this next big move is something that's going to level you up in your relationship. <clears throat> the world completing something, maybe by you guys living together or you staying with each other a few times a week is going to make you feel more like, like you're more stable or more permanent, more committed. Some some kind of something having to do with commitment. There you go. You have the, the the wedding wedding rings here. The lovers. Something is going to level you up in your connection. It can be an engagement. It can be hey, you want to travel with me and my my family, and that's a big deal. That means this person considers you part of their far far future. You got the star. It's a wish come true, and it's also very healing because this is what you've been wanting for the longest or maybe this is a, what your person has been wanting good lucky star good luck lucky star very cool very cool since we have the rabbit here I might as well whip out my uh, white hair rabbit oracles from another lovely creator Jackie Loves Art over on Etsy this is my uh, winter's embrace I use it all year round not just for the winter and it has a lot of magic in it I love it. I use it for blessings, wishes, things you're manifesting, what good news is coming, what can you can expect. Okay, so next big move. Please help me clarify why is the Ace of Wands here? Why is the Ace of Wands? Some kind of magic spark. It's going to ignite you. You're going to be like feeling so, you're going to feel so like what? Welcomed and loved and needed. This, so, oh my gosh. Did you go? <laughs> All right, all right, all right, all right. See, look, magical properties. There you go. All right, and I just said retreat. I just said travel. You got the world and travel. Hey, can you come? Uh, can you come travel with me to visit my father? Can you come travel with me? Globe here. Can you come um, help me? Uh, I need to deliver this to my grandmother, but she's across the country you know, across this, across the country or across, I don't know, across town. Can you come with me? And then it's like, it, it feels like you guys are family. You're acting as if you are one, two become one. So that's the next thing, you, you know, the next big move is solidifying your connection to where you feel like you're making decisions together as a family. 
basking in the sun. The star is a sun. I'm, I'm sorry, sorry. The, the sun is a star. Can you believe it? Two stars here. Wish come true. Beautiful. Now I'm going to use my purse, my friend's uh, crystal ball oracle. Let's tie this in. She, her shop is on Etsy as well. And also my winter's embrace is in here as well. Departure. Oh my gosh, I'm telling you. I told you. And then you have home. That's what I was saying. Like some kind of like, I was going to say some kind of adventure. Like this person asking you to, you know, travel with the family and you're like, you feel honored. Challenge or stability. So yes, yeah, some kind of, ch maybe it is going to be a challenge. This, you know, moving in together or traveling. Maybe it's going to make, make you, you know, you know, save your money more so that you can be able to travel with this, this person. Um, you know, something changing as well. There's some kind of good luck coming in, in here that's going to change. But you're also going to come back complete. It's going to complete you because you have the world card here. Gathering. Many, many friends will visit. That's what I'm saying. Maybe this person's like, you know what? Can you meet me? at this hotel because I'm inviting my whole family there and we're staying for the whole weekend. Can you come too? And you're, you're like, uh, I gotta, I gotta share a hotel room with you and your parents and your siblings. Oh my gosh, I don't know, I don't know. And you could be feeling like a little hesitant about it, but it's gonna work in your favor. You're gonna have everything you need and more. You're not gonna lack anything. You know, if you need it, if you're like, oh my gosh, oh, but I have to worry about my food. Your person's like, don't worry about it, I got you. Um, so essentials, needing, having anything, every, everything you need, this person's going to provide for you emotionally, spiritually, physically. And, you know, if you are short on funds, I'm sure this person will pick up the, the tab on you. Help, assistance from others will bring you joy. See, this person will pick up the tabs if you fall short because they're asking you to stretch your neck and do something grand for them. You know, so they're not going to just uh, ask you to travel with them and then you have, you know, no food or no uh, way to get there, you know. So this is so beautiful. I'm so, so over the moon happy for you because I think this is what you've been wanting. You've been wanting family. You've been wanting gatherings. I just said fa breaking bread with the family, them introducing you to the family, or you traveling with the family, or for the family, or to visit family. And maybe this is you blending your family. If you're not traveling, I mean, I do see travel departures here. I see the world card. That's travel. So maybe you, you guys, maybe you're traveling to live with this person. Maybe that's where the travel comes in handy. Traveling to uh, blend your households. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful, so beautiful. All right, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna you know I'm gonna put some cloudy cards in here to match this uh, cloudy whites and blues. I'm gonna add some pinks and purples with clouds with white clouds. So this is my princess love dreams oracle. I like to use this with my love readings, and I have them for sale. It's the sister deck, the sister deck of the. The Lavender Love Dreams Oracle. It's the Love Dreams for that. You know, I will probably use both, actually. Okay. So, let's see. <clears throat> Any other message, messages want to come out for you? Power number three for the next big move from your person to you. Next big move. Their next big move to you? Power number three. Fragrance. Sexuality. Attraction. All right. Some more intimate moments together. All right. Next big move, next big move. You see how you have like the fireworks, the magic stick, and then you have like the little Palo Santo and you got the little twinkles here. So it's like the magic stick is here. Some kind of magic happening here with you guys. Like, I don't know, some kind of spark. Your aha moment. Um, your magic wand is lit up and now you can create together as a team. It's like a level up, glow up here. Tell me more about your awesome big move from your person. Flower garden, cultivation, sweet days ahead. I love it. I love it. What else? What else? What else pertains to your person's big move towards you? Teardrops, wisdom, lessons learned. Okay, and long gloves. 
handling affairs with care and cleanliness. So, awesome. You got the star and you got healing, spiritual harmony. So, you, this is a healing journey that you're going to be on with your person. Very healing energy. So, happen, this is happening how it should, why it should, when it should. Part of your destiny here. Healing journey. Oh, that's probably what this is, a healing journey. Departure. Journey it could be a, a spiritual journey here. Spiritual journey where you're you're both spiritually, you know, becoming one, merging, becoming one, like a twin flame. Two, twin flames finally finding themselves, and they're finally in the same city, the same town, same home. Finally together again. Running, fear, facing fears and problems. No more running. None of that. Coming together, running in, the, in towards each other. Lavender, serenity, grace, and femininity. So this is a peaceful healing journey you both are on. Engagement. Oh my gosh. Relationships and sexual needs. And this is how we're going to end it. Look at that. This is how we're going to close out the reading. Not end it, no, because this is a continuous relationship that's going to go on and on and on again, over and over and over and over. Crystal ball, clear outlook on the future. That's right. The coast is clear. So I feel the lovers with the, with the wedding rings, the wedding bands, and the engagement ring here. You guys, two become one. I'm telling you, you're the silver that holds, or the diamonds that holds the amethyst here. You become one. Okay, this is a relationship, and you guys are leveling up. And it might even lead to a proposal. Who knows? Wow. All right. Any love messages want to come through? Any love messages want to come through for you? Pile number three. Love messages for the lovely pile number three, friends, from your person. Pile number three. Live your life. Live your life. So this is an indicator saying that this is a life that you wanted. This is a life that you've been waiting to live with your person. Completing each other, living with each other, growing with each other, learning from each other. You have the King of Hearts, King of Cups here. So that's a lot of love here. And you also, oh snap, you have it again. Father of Cups, the King of Cups. Oh my gosh, you're here twice. King of Hearts, King of Cups, Father of Cups. That's the King of Cups twice over, okay? So this person has a lot of love for you and they want to offer you that. Take care. I'll see you next time. Here's your healing energy. And please come back for more. Please share this video and subscribe if you haven't done so already. All the decks we used are down below. Lavender Love Dreams. It comes with a free PDF guide. The Princess Love Dreams, Princess Love Dreams and the Winter's Embrace all links below. Take care. Bye-bye.